How's it going everybody? Jesse Patella here with Redefine really Effects and today I just have a super quick tutorial for you on how to do this IV growth. So this works on any regular mesh geometry. I'm using the zombie from Mixamo. Just make sure you convert it into an editable poly when you bring it into Max. So first we need to give birth to some particles. So maybe a total of 10 particles across 20 frames. You can set the display to large dots make them yellow, position object, and pick the object on which you want the growth to start. So for me, it'll be growing from the sphere onto the torus. So I'll just pick the sphere. So now we need a grow operator. Set the timing to continuous if you want it to be animated to grow. And then you need to give it a surface to grow onto. So I'll just pick the torus. And here you go. You already have some IV sort of showing up, but it's not growing nicely. It's just sort of like appearing out of nowhere. So this may be what you want if you're just working on a static image, but we want it to grow. So for that, you need to go under IV and make sure that the iterations are lower than the maximum age. So it has to be lower than 200. I'll actually just set it to five and set the maximum age to 300. That's what worked for me. And now you have the IV nicely growing pretty slowly across the object. So now you can just add a spline pass to add some geometry to these. Click on create new, set the mode to target, and you can turn off the dots. So all you see are the splines. So right now it's also creating leaves and stems. We don't want that. So under grow, you can just scroll down under leaves and just turn off the leaves and stems. So you have just the vines. You can click on this button up here to show it in viewport. So here you can control the radius. I'll just leave it at 0.5, say multiply by not radius. And we need to taper them so that they're thin when they're just born and then they get thicker over time. So I'll just set the amount to one. And then finally under tie splines, you need to check weld knots. And this will weld them all together and create these nice looking vines for you. If you want to add more detail to the geometry, you can just give them more sides. So maybe I'll do 10. And you can control the look with a bunch of these settings. So maybe you can increase the speed to one, right? And they will just cover it much faster. And then one thing I want to show you is under direction, you can set this to spline instead of vector and give it a spline to grow along. So I've prepared just this basic spline that goes along the torus and I'll just pick the spline here. And so now the IV will do its best to grow along the spline that you give it to, which is pretty cool. Especially the end of it here looks pretty awesome. So that's how you could get it to grow along the walls exactly where you want and create sort of like a spider style growth from, you know, the body of the zombie. And then you also have branching where you can control how many additional branches it creates as it's growing. So I'm not going to go over all of these settings. They're pretty self-explanatory. They pretty much just do exactly what their name is. So I would encourage you to play around and see how they change the behavior. Last thing I want to show you is how I did these growths on the side, sort of coming from the zombie. So I basically just put my torse knot inside of the zombie. So the growth starts around the head. So I just created basically this piece of geometry for the ivy to grow onto. It just has some noise and turbo smooth on top of this cylinder. Then you can turn on the slicing and just slice from and you can create this sort of pizza slice and then just add some noise on top. Have the IV grow on top of that. You can add some sort of a wood dark material to the IV. And I think I did four separate tie flows over here. So I just did, you know, one growth over the body, one over the head, one on the right and one on the left. And if you're using tie flow pro or tie flow beta, you can actually tie cache the vines into tie cache. So export particles and just make sure under geometry settings that you check include spline path geometry with the tie cache. And then you can just tie cache it and it'll update in the viewport very quickly for you. So as always, I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did, as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up. I read and respond to all the comments. So if you have a tutorial request, definitely let me know below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.